I went back to FIFA 20, simulated a list of player careers until the year 2023 to see how FIFA 20 predicted all of these players to turn out by this year. So starting off with Jadon Sancho, he's still at Borussia Dortmund and has a 93 overall. If only it could have been, um, he's still 23, but yeah, he's doing absolute bits right now for Dortmund. And as sad as it is to see, uh, Jadon Sancho is currently an 82 overall at United. Flopped massively, uh, so much stuff going on with this player. Uh, next up we have Jao Felix, who stayed at Atletico Madrid, has a 90 overall at the age of 23 has already reached his potential and he's not even 25 yet still only 23 uh, played at Chelsea has a lot of time to reach as FIFA 20 is predicting uh, still with Atletico Madrid Next up, we have Reyna, who had one of the highest potentials on this game. He had a future stars as well on FIFA 21, you might remember correctly. Again, only 21, uh, still at Real Madrid, who is now a 70 rated, still at Real Madrid, probably struggling to get game time. FIFA 20's prediction wasn't ridiculously off. Didn't say he was going to absolutely explode football. He could be doing a lot better, let's just say that. Myron Baldau is next with an 84 overall, playing in the Liga, RCD Espanol. Now a 73 overall, not quite an 84. Um, still only 22. Playing in the league, and you never know. This is a forgotten player, Daniel James. So FIFA 20 has predicted that he'd be at Nice, that he'd be 84 overall, 25 years old, so doing okay for himself to be completely honest. Predicted 84, Daniel James is now 75 rated at Leeds. This game actually predicted that N'Golo Kante would stay with Chelsea, uh, maintaining his 89 to 90 overall. Uh, 32 years old and he's, again, still bossing it by the looks of it. If you were offered a lot of money to go to Saudi Arabia, you probably would. N'Golo Kante still has an 86 overall, playing for fun, to be completely honest, and he still holds up very well on the game. Gabriel Martinelli is next up with an 83 overall, playing in the Bundesliga. Very interesting that he's moved away from the Premier League. He's currently killing it at Arsenal, let's so, to be honest, uh, has an 84 overall. Not even 23 yet. Ruben Diaz, who's gone to Leipzig with an 87 overall. 26 years old, so near enough in his prime. But yeah, playing in the Bundesliga. He's now at Man City winning trebles uh, with an 89 overall. Still only 26 years old. He's playing in the Premier League and probably will be for the next five, six years. Now, this is one of the most interesting ones. Um, Rich Harlison has moved to Real Madrid. The year is 2023 and he has an overall of 88. The 88 rated Madrid striker is... Uh, at Spurs. Age 26, um, I don't see him reaching this 88 rating and especially playing for Madrid. I think I've seen him score about twice. One of them was being at the World Cup. Another Brazilian with Bruno Gamirez, uh, 25 years old, having an 87 rating in the Bundesliga. Playing for FC Schalke. He's now in the Premier League with Newcastle. Based off his age, he has a lot of time to reach that 87 rating, FIFA 20 is saying. Jeremy Doku is in the Serie A playing for Sampdoria. He has an overall of 81. Now Doku's actually at Man City. This game's just broken. Very close to FIFA 20's prediction. Arguably should be that rating. Neymar's predicted to stay with PSG. Uh, the same overall as well. Playing for Al Hilhau in the Saudi Arabia. Not PSG. Once again, this game is doing its thing. Neymar's overall has stayed the exact same. Um, like Kante, he's chased the bag. You can't really blame him. And the last on the list is Eden Hazard, who's still an 87 overall with Real Madrid. So, I mean, yeah, these past three, four years, he could have won potentially European trophies with Madrid. Um, unfortunately, he did retire in the preseason this year. So, he's not actually on EAFC. Sergio Aguero is also at PSG according to this game uh, with an 82 overall. It is his last year going off the bio thing. Retiring at PSG. I mean you could retire at worst places right. He's also another player who's not in the current FIFA title. So yeah let me know your thoughts on uh, FIFA 20's predictions of these guys. Let me know any other players you want to see. Uh, any other FIFA titles. Um, that didn't seem too far off to, to be completely honest. Sancho was a big miss obviously with Felix as well. But yeah, until next time. Uh, yeah cheers for watching and um, in a bit.